Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's been so long. So today I am going to be going blonde. I'm already kind of blonde. I also apologize if you can hear someone talking. My mom is out there. But I dyed my hair lighter last February and so I'm going back to my friends. I'm driving to Palm Springs right now. I'm going back to visit her and she's going to turn me more blonde like Sophia Richie blonde, like that's what my goal is. So yes, yeah, stay tuned for that journey. So we're doing a bricklay pattern. We're doing um, two sides to one middle. And what I'm doing is I'm bringing the foil all the way up to the root. And then um, I'm going to her line of demarcation, which is probably three to three and a half inches out. And then I'm foiling out the darker pieces that are still left out on the ends and putting those up into the foil as well. And then you'll see these pieces down here. Um, those, what I did is I took the brown pieces that are dropouts and I foiled out the brown pieces and like balayaged them in so the ends are nice and bright. So I'm gonna keep doing that up to her head and then I'll show you where we are in the front. Hello everybody. Hi guys. So now that we're at the front, oh. I, um, I finished the back and now that we're at the front, what I'm doing, um, Around her hairline, um, we're gonna be doing back-to-back -back foils to give her the really bright pop in the front, just like the Sophia Richie picture. So we'll probably do like three slices back-to-back, uh, -back, and then um, we'll do, they're gonna be really, really, really thin slices. And then we're gonna baby light the rest. Um, so I'm gonna do like three foils back. Um, so three here, three here, three here. And then I'm gonna work my way up horizontally up the head and um, I will get more coverage that way. So I'm gonna show you really quick. I'm gonna section off this top part because this is going to be its own little section. Because this is kind of where her hair parts naturally, so I want to be able to uh, like do fine detailing in this section because this is the part she's going to see every single day in the front, so it has to be nice. All of it has to be nice, but then we're going to take this front section, and the thing about the front section is you want to try and avoid the little tiny baby hairs, otherwise they'll just look like breakage. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to try and turn this. It might actually be better to do a baby light, so this is going to come in this section. So, I actually might turn this into a baby light, but let's see. I'm going to get this section really clean. Can you see everything? Mm-hmm. I look bald. So we're just gonna do baby lights, but honestly try and like keep a majority of the hair in it So barely any will be out. So just a tiny bit like that And then do you mean to tilt my head or anything? This is such an awkward position, but so for this I'm actually going to be um, Hold on, I always forget Foiling it back um, so I have like a flat surface to paint on and I'm pulling kind of tight because you want it to be as close to the hairline as possible and then I'm going to feather it into her old highlight. Chelsea's hair lifts nicely, but I like to do it low and slow because um, a lot of hair hairdressers take it too too high of a developer, and that's why all the dry happens. You get a lot of breakage, and you don't necessarily need to have that high of a developer. Um, it's going to work just the same as a low developer. The low developer just takes longer, but it gives you more time to like really. Uh, Work like the hair. Yeah, you you can like really get in there and make sure that everything that you're doing 
is um, perfect and neat and you don't have any spots or bleeding or um, pieces that like need more color and you're missing them because you're rushing and you just want to get her as blonde as possible and this will help you avoid getting any breakage and I'm going to include this one with these because it's at a weird angle. Hi guys, as you can see I am back from the salon and I'm a lot lighter and shorter now. So I was just going to sit down and talk about exactly like kind of what we did with my hair just so anyone that does want to go lighter and sees this video can kind of learn from that. So this was about my third time going it was about my third time going lighter so we started off with like not that much lightness if I have a picture I'll put it in here somewhere um, and then we just kind of gradually did that over a course of like three times of bleaching so a lot of the times when you're bleaching your hair it doesn't automatically go from like brown to blonde you like really have to like slowly do it especially if you don't want your hair to be damaged so that's what we did and this is the end result It's super pretty, it's super fun. I love the length. Honestly, we kind of had to cut it to this length because my hair was like here and it was just dead, like so dead. Dead because it was like needed to cut a while ago and also because we were bleaching the crap out of it. So we cut it to this length. I'm really happy with it. This is actually my favorite length to have because it holds curl and everything. And my hair still feels like hair. It doesn't feel dry or damaged or anything. I mean, it feels a little bit more dry, but like nothing unmanageable. But yeah, so this is what we did. We, well, she kind of explains it in the part that she does. So I'm just gonna say that. So yeah, I just wanted to come on here and show you guys the end result of what we did. And I am super happy with it. And I kind of want to go a little lighter already, which I can't, I'm gonna have to wait a couple months. If you are interested in going lighter, maybe leave some comments down below and I'll try to answer them. Cause I as well do hair so I can help a little bit if you have some questions. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it answers some of your questions. If you have any suggestions for any other videos, go ahead and leave a comment down below because that would help me out. I'm kind of struggling with that. Also give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.